Okay, welcome to uh, the track and park demonstration here with the anemometer uh, interface, the tiny VCS circuit we have here. So this is a uh, anemometer commonly available. Um, it has an analog output. You can see the uh, specifications here. It's upside down. So this one has an output. Um, not sure if you can see that, but DC output between 0.4 and 2 volts and a supply voltage of 7 to 24 volts. So I'm not going to actually be uh, hooking that up, but I'll be simulating the uh, anemometer output here with this uh, little voltage regulator. Um, so I've got this voltmeter here connected to it so we can see the output level. Um, the output's connected to the input on here. The uh, output, this board is connected to the track and park uh, park trigger input here. Here's the, uh, the power input for the VCS board. So what I'm going to do now is uh, just clip this on. That'll supply uh, 12 volts uh, coming in over here from a battery uh, to this and this will power on. So we get some blinky lights so we know it's all working. And now the first thing it's going to do is it's going to flash this voltage. So we get a one, two, three, and then a long flash for the decimal. One, two, and one, so 3.21 volts. And one, two, three, one decimal, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. So 3.52 is the current trigger level that's uh, that's programmed in the board here. So I'm going to use a screwdriver, a little adjustment potentiometer here. I'm going to change the voltage here. We'll see that coming up now, 3.4. So when I get this just over 3.5, uh, yeah, see I'm almost 3.6 here now. Now the output light is, has turned on and so that should be sending an output trigger to the uh, to the tiny track, uh, to the track and park, which if it was on would trigger it to, to park. So, now I'm going to show you how to, how we, we set, set the value on here. Um, now, incidentally, the anemometer had a value between 0.4 and 2 volts supposedly and I've got this at 3.5 but uh, my my voltmeter over here it it, it, <laughs> it flickers out on less than less than 3 volts so we're going to stay up here above uh, 3.2 or 3 3.3 or so um, just for demonstration anyway um, so now this is the set button this is up and this is the down button so I'm going to do so. Let's let's just say that that uh, uh, I wanted to 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 set the uh, the threshold to to 3.7 here, a little bit higher. I've, let's say that's where I calculated it at. And so right now the output's on, but I'm going to press the set button and I'm going to hold it. I'm just going to keep holding it down. The light comes on. I keep holding. Now it starts flashing. I release. Now what that just did is it set the current trigger level to the current input. The, the cr trigger level is now the current input. So if I if I turn this down at all, as soon as I turn it down, you see the output go out. Now I turn it back up just a little bit, the output goes on. So now let's say I, I, I want to adjust it. Um, I hold this down. Now this time I'm going to release it when the light first came on. And now it's staying on. And now what I can do is I can I can press and now I'm incrementing it down. I can also increment up. 
but I'm going to increment down several times. Now, what's the value? I don't know. So I'm just going to wait for a couple seconds. I wait for about 10 seconds. And now this light will flash and let us know the current value. So we get a 1, 2, 3 decimal. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, ah, 3.34. Okay. So, so now I'm going to press and hold the button down. It starts flashing. That indicates it's saving the value that I just set up at 3.34, I believe it was. Um, and because we're at 3.6 now here, output went high. I'm going to adjust the voltage over here down to 3.3. Uh huh. And now it, it goes off. So, so we see it's between 3.3 and 3.4 on my little meter here. Uh, boom. It goes goes on. So we adjusted it. So that's the current threshold. So now let's pretend we're working with the uh, the track and park in in reality. I'm gonna set, I set the the voltage low here, so the output is low. Now I'm going to go ahead and back up a little bit here, so you can. Uh, all this okay so right now the the track and park is off but the actuator is uh, is in what what should be our, our configured park position we'll just kind of remember this this extension on the actuator here I'm going to go ahead and, and our uh, input to the the tiny VCS is just below our, our simulated wind threshold for the anemometer so let's see. I'm going to uh, now I'm going to turn on the uh, it's actually parked. I'm going to turn on the track and park. Turn on the power there. So now that's going to reset the actuator. Let me sit here for a minute and watch the actuator reset. So now hopefully most of the lights coming in for this west LED and we'll see the actuator extend. And I'm going to just turn the board the light more centered up and that made it stop. Okay. So now we're tracking. Then this is hooked up to your panel and along comes a gust of a wind. Now what that would do is that that would send a, a voltage, which in this case would just be connected up here. So I'm just going to simulate that now. I'm going to increase this as soon as I get it up 3.4. Our output goes high here. That triggers, goes to the park trigger. Now this is moving to the configured park position. And it's going to go there and stop. I went ahead and turned this, put that back low. Now the track and park will will stay in the in the park position, won't respond to the LED input for the next half an hour after that light goes out. So after our our input. Our last gust of wind is going to wait a half an hour. So, there you go. That's how we can use the tiny VCS as an interface to an analog output anemometer and make the track and park move our array to a safe park position.